Hey what's up guys, today we've been playing a bit of the Ghost Recon Wildlands open beta and uh, we're in the new area which was only which wasn't available in the closed beta as you can see here on the map. This is the old part with Yuri and Polito of course which I've seen in the closed beta which I'm not going which I've skipped. I've uh, had to do everything again of course but I've skipped it for you guys because you have already seen it. So this is the new area and we're going to have to take down the mortars or at least some more of the shells so that um, of course the cartel forces can't use them anymore this is the hardest difficulty by the way which is this time called the extreme difficulty um, which I don't know why but uh, all the difficulties were called differently in the open beta than in the closed beta and as you will notice there are a lot more heavy forces than previously because the difficulty is not only determined by the difficulty setting but also by the area in this area the cartel forces are being trained to become the best soldiers so this will be the most Damn, one of the most difficult areas in the game coming up on the objective now weapons free it looks like a supply crate um, take it out how do we get inside all this garbage wire oh my god Jump. okay yes we made it we made it in okay let me take out the uh, alarm Yo, for a second the they can still Damn. call for reinforcements by the way if you take out the alarm but just not as many, I believe. Um, let's see if there's some more. Bad guys are marked. Waiting on you, boss. Enemies. Copy. Target marked. Oh, in the tower. We need to take him out. Enemy marked. Ready to engage. Let's see in the Enemy garage. Ten sided. Yeah, more forces there as well. I think. Priority will be the tower gun. Let me shoot him, why not? He was on his own anyway, so. There's one less to worry about. Fences with barbed wire. Okay, maybe we can jump over the wall. Let's see. Can I? Eyes on two yeah, there we are. Okay. Where you got him? At the entrance to the camp. Okay, let's just eliminate them. Mm -hmm. Stop the down. There's one less bad guy. Okay, let's see. How am I going to kill these armored guards here? Can I make a hatchet? Uh, yep, we did it. Nice. Can get a target on him. Sorry for me. No, no. Too much barbed wire in the way. Okay. Let's clear the garage. Standing oh, we are full in the garage. Okay. I'll have to take out the fourth one then. Okay, we couldn't just get a target on him, so I'm going to take out the armor ghast first. I've upgraded noise reduction for running by the way, which is why I can still run a bit without being spotted. Let's try this again, hopefully we can get a target this time. Because my teammates are down here as well this time. Uh, let 
me switch side. How did I do that again? Oh, yeah, like this. Right bumper. Um, Jesus. Copy. Target mark. Deploying drone. Lost the target. How am I going to do this? We could use the explosive barrel, I think. Or I could just lob a grenade in there, actually. Okay, that's three down. I didn't think this would actually work. One of those cartel metals here. Some this is seriously an hour alarm going off. Oh my god, nice, nice, and nice. Good. Okay, now we only need to destroy uh, two more mortars. But let me upgrade first a bit, of course. As you can see, I've upgraded quite a bit on the drone. Especially on the Mark Area 1, which allows me to spot a lot of targets with the drone. I've got a mine and a C4. But I think we should increase the ammo capacity, because that's going to be real useful. Okay. Yeah, I think that's everything you can upgrade. Okay. Let's find the C4 over here. I got the C4 primed. And one on the one which is on the right of me. I got one narco right by the container. Ammo's primed. So let me grab some ammo first before I blow up all the ammo. That gets behind here. I'm the C4. One straight down. Great destroyed. Okay, good. They're going. They'll probably come with me now. Because that was a big explosion. Yeah, so. Good, good. Good, good. 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 You can see by the way the blur on the map is gone, the red blur, so I can't see how much more enemies are left or approximately where they are on the higher difficulty. It's still available to the lower difficulties of course, but for this highest difficulty it's gone, um, which makes it a little more hard of course, because if you know how many enemies there are or approximately how many, it's going to be a lot easier. Which is one of the many subtitle changes. They changed from the closed beta to the open beta. And there will still be a lot more improvements to the final game, of course. Okay, that way, Lob is before here. Lower it. Position complete. The last of the crates. Clear. So that was one of the many missions in the open beta, I'm going to play some more on extreme difficulty of course. If you want you can hop on yourself on PC, Xbox One and Playstation 4, which um, it, it's open so anyone can get in and still available until Monday, February 27th. I will deliver a lot more Ghost Recon Wildlands content of course, so stay tuned. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time.